Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing unit fractions and whole numbers with models. This is standard 5.3J in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 8 of the 2024 released star test. This is a new item type called drag and drop. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got three blanks down here. This is a two-point problem. And if I were to take this two, you notice I could put it anywhere. But once I use it, it can only be used once. Some drag and drops will let you use an answer more than once. And so if I were to do something like this and try to select uh, next question, it would give me a warning sign saying you have not answered everything. So we need to make sure we go ahead and answer all parts of this question right here. And so what we're going to do is we are going to look at what Sarah is doing with this cake here. And so we have this situation in which she's got a fifth of a cake. Now look at our picture here. She shares a fraction of a cake equally with her friend, but it doesn't look immediately like she's got one fifth. Let me outline what we've got here. All right, so if I were to cut this cake into fifths, we see we've got these vertical lines that are going to help us out here. One, two, three, four lines means I've got one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Now we've got two different shades because that's how she's going to share it equally with her friend. But first we need to see that this right here, this is your one fifth. This is the amount of cake that she has. So this matches this. Now she's going to share her fraction of the cake equally with her friend. Okay, so what does that mean when we share it equally with a friend? Well, we cut it in half. So when we cut something in half, you see we've got this dotted line here. That's what this is representing. Now rather than, she's only got this one piece right here, but rather than cutting just that, we go ahead and cut across all of the diagram so that I can show what we have here. So which equation represents the situation? Well, you see these two different colors now can represent the two different pieces. Okay, so this is Sarah. I'm going to put an S right there. And then I'm going to just call that F for her friend. So Sarah's got part of the one-fifth. Friend has got part of the one-fifth. Now, we need to represent the situation. Basically, we're looking at how much of the cake does each friend have? Well, we can now go back that we've got the, the red lines to cut the cake into fifths, and then that blue dotted line to cut each of those fifths in half. We've got just that straight blue dotted line that cut each of those fifths in half. What do we have left? Well, if we count, right, I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I've got a cake that's got ten pieces. So that means I'm going to need a fraction with a denominator of ten. Now, we could say, right, that you've got two of those tenths, right? That's this part right here. And you divide it in, in half right there. We're going to use division. You could also, you could also multiply it by one half. And that's going to end up doing the same thing. But either way, what do you end up with? Well, each person ends up with just one tenth, right? So you take your two tenths. You got a, a two tenth and a two tenth. You cut it in half. What do you get? You know, you get your one tenth. Because one tenth plus one tenth equals two tenths, right? This really equals, if you multiply straight across, it equals two twentieths, but that reduces down to the one tenth. But we don't have a two tenth. We need to go back with the original, right? The original was one fifth. So we can say one fifth divided by two. It's going to get us one-tenth for each.